Hello viewers, it's Cynthia Michael from Screen Views bring you my my four my four hundred and ninety ninety seven podcast. This is my four hundred and ninety seven podcast. And like always, I'm gonna speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to breach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under eighteen, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Now, now, if you're over 18, that means you're good. This, you're not, if you're over 18, that means you're good to watch this, uh, watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, let's get to let's get to the topic here. Now, Comrade Zero One has ended. So basically, this is my review on the whole series. I gotta say, this uh, this series this series really talk about some serious subjects, especially uh, especially for artificial intelligence being artificial humans. So basically, like you know. It's kind of like you know, who, whoever must have came up with this idea must have watched Westworld and and Star Trek the the card because it seems like I'm watching Westworld meet Star Trek like Star Trek with card in in a way. But anyway, the, it really talk it really it, it really talk but also it also really talk about serious stuff that as for you know being partisan you know about a uh, you know about it really talk about heavy subjects and heavy subjects about discrimination you know sex you know sex is segregation and all that. So basically it had some very serious that uh, this this core writer series really touched on some uh, talks on some serious subject. It's not only not only racial subjects but you know also also about artificial uh, uh, about artificial intelligent humans. So basically, so basically, it's like if artificial humans are doing this, you know, so will we, will, how would we treat them? Will we treat them like slaves? You know, will will we discriminate against them? You know, not you know, not giving them their own rights and whatnot, and also, and also, and also that you know, artificial intelligence can do anything they want to. Not just what they program to do. So basically, it really touched on a lot of a lot of important subjects. Now, a lot of important subjects. So basically, I big big up to the writers for Comrade Zero One. Now, as for Comrade Zero One, he was a good. So basically, for the third generation of cop, for the third, for, this is the first, this is the first Comrade series in the third generation. So basically, Joe One is the first, is the first Comrade in the, in the third generation. So basically, I gotta say, you know, you know, Joe One did, uh, the actor who played Joe One did a good job. Now, Sorry, I had to wipe my mouth. Anyway, so basically, Joe Rogan was a good job. I would Joe Rogan, you know, he 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 was very good. So basically, the actor who played Kamala Joe Rogan, you know, I I did like him. But you know, it seems like. It seems like lately we've been getting clown. It seems like every year. It seems like we. It seems like we've been getting a a clown. Uh, like these main power that they always come in clowns and shit like that. So basically, it's like you know, that mean well. I love Zero One, but you know, I just wish that you know. It seems like lately we've been getting these comic writers who were goofballs lately. Like, like in Sentai, we've been getting these Red Rangers who are, who are, who are goofballs. So anyway, but you know, Joe One was okay. Vulcan, yes. I really like his, I really like his Vulcan's gimmick. And that all goes up with Vulcan every time he tries to transform into his, into his, into his comrade form, any of his comrade form, he always has to struggle to open up his progress key. So basically, I love that ongoing joke. So anyway, as for Valkyrie, they did a good, I 
honestly, they did a good job with Valkyrie being the first, being the first to, uh, female comrade of the third generation. But I felt like they could have done more with her when it came to when it came to her being, you know, her form. So basically, I just wish that you know Valkyrie would have had a final form because you know they didn't really treat her as a secondary writer as much as as much as they treated. Vulcan more better as a secondary writer than Valkyrie than Valkyrie. So basically, I just wish that you know Valkyrie would have got a final form and whatnot. But you know the movie. I heard that the movie is is, is posted. You know that's postponed the movie, but the the movie is supposed to come out in September. So basically, I'm hoping that in the movie we'll we'll see Valkyrie get a final form or 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 and a final. Uh, 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 and I find no progress key, but you know, we just have to wait and see. But I knew it was okay. So they, this like this like Bosley when it comes to the forms. I felt like Bowser being the uh, being that special common writer that shows up. Uh, that special common writer, basically, you know, you think you had you had that you, you have one common writer who it uh, seems to be the be, be the uh, the anti hero and shit you uh, of the series. So basically, I would say the, I would say I would, I would say that Bowser was kind of like the anti-hero in a way, but you know, I was getting Zero One a hard time and the other comrades as well. But you know, I just wish Bowser had more thoughts, and I wish that his driver was a bit more better. You know, I, I wish that the. the I wish that the uh, I wish that Thousand's driver was you know, had more uh, had more uh, had more sounds to it. So anyway, I really liked it. I see the, uh, the 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 Zero One driver is the best driver. Uh, I gotta say it's the best driver I see in a long time next to the truck next. Uh, I don't see the the Zero One driver is the best driver uh, I ever see as a car rider series next to. The drive driver and, and and the time driver. So basically, the time driver, you know, it's kind of neat. But the, the pair to pair to the drive driver and next to the uh, to the zero one driver. I think all my favorite drivers of all time. But my top three is the is the time driver, the the drive driver, and and now in my top one is the is the uh, it's the arc one, uh, it's the arc, I mean, the, 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 the zero one driver. But you know, but you know, it's, it is what it is. So anyway, so anyway, so, you know, anyway, you know, was, so basically, you know, zero one was a good start. It was a was a good camaraderie series to, to start off the third generation of of uh, the third generation of camaraderie. So basically, this was a good this was a good series. You know, it had a good it had some good lessons to be learned. It had a good story to it. But you know, I thought that at the end, you know, it, it, the end was kind of rushed, but, you know, due to the corona outbreak, you know, the movie did not come out, so basically, and hopefully that, you know, there's still some loose ends to be resolved, so basically, once the movie comes out, those loose ends will probably be resolved once the, once the Conrad movie comes out. So anyway, this was a good, so Conrad Zero One was, was, was a pretty good, was a pretty good series for, for the third generation of Conrad Rider. So anyway, what do you guys think about Conrad Zero One? Was it good? Was it bad? Or was it just okay? Uh, or just mad? Nah. Please let me know with the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, it's Cynthia Michael from Three Views. Sign off. One.